All right, time for another edition here of AI Advisor Tools, where we help you save time, save money, and show you the latest AI tools to help you grow and better scale your financial practice. AI Advisor Tools is brought to you, of course, by the Fiduciary Alliance. And today's tool that we are featuring is one that we all know, it's ChatGPT. We're gonna be looking at something very specific, and that's how to correctly create your prompt and, and to follow a, a specific format in creating your prompt to get the best desired output, okay? My name is Brian Bogner. I'm an independent financial advisor, just like you. And these are the many tools that we use here in our firm uh, to do the things that we do. So let's go ahead and dive into this tool, okay? So let's set up the scenario. You just met with a client and maybe, you know, they were wanting to know the difference between a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA, okay? And you explained it to them. But you'd like to follow up with an email and just kind of spell that out for them so that they really have a good understanding of the, of the difference between the two. Well, you could type it all out, what the difference is. You could certainly search the internet, maybe find an article or something else, probably have someone else's branding on it or something like that. You want this to be personal, okay? So we're going to use ChatGPT to provide that output, all right? I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Here we go. All right. Believe... We are sharing. There we are. All right. Excellent. So if you look here, I, I went ahead and just created this output here right off the bat. I said, create a one-page article describing the differences between a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA. Easy. That's what we're trying to do. Okay. So GBT gave me this, you know, okay, well, you know, here versus that, key differences, tax treatment, withdrawal rules, this and that, this and that. I guarantee you, if you copy and paste this into an email and send it to your client, my, my guess is they probably wouldn't read it or they might scan it or something like that, okay? But I think this is kind of what we think. We're just asking this AI to do something for me, all right? Now, here's the key to get really good output from ChatGPT. It's kind of a three-step process. The first thing you need to do is you need to tell ChatGPT how are they acting? What are they doing, right? So in this case, they're writing copy. They're a copywriter maybe a marketing copywriter in the financial services industry. So you have to tell it what you need to act as. Then you create your task, right? What's the task here? I want a one page article describing the differences between these two things. That's the task. So we wanna tell it to act as a role, create the task. Then who's the audience? Like telling Jack TPT, this is the audience. This is who this is for. Um, you know, tell them, give, give them a little bit more about who are they writing this to, okay? And then the third thing that I like to, or excuse me, the fourth thing that I like to include is the, a call to action, right? So because anytime I send something to somebody, I, I'd like some type of call to action out of it, right? I mean, we, we can send content all day long, but if no one actually does something from it, what's the point? All right, so let's go ahead. I'm logged into ChatGPT here. I'm going to copy this and read it to you. And again, we talk about this a lot. Your prompts that you use with these models, you need to save them. Don't try to sit there and, and type them up. Create a library of prompts. So here's this prompt. I say, act as a marketing copywriter in the financial service industry working, and I'm actually say from my firm, Parallel Financial. So I'm going to tell it, right? You're going to write great copy. You're in financial services and you work for me, right? My firm. Create a one-page article, right? We went over that. Highlight which IRA is beneficial for whom. So I, not only do I want it to, the differences, but then like who is, you know, what, which one's beneficial for whom? Include a call to action to schedule a call with Parallel Financial. All right, so let's go ahead and hit send. Here we go. And it is off to the races. So um, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the output. All right, unlock your financial future, choosing between a Roth here, um, traditional IRA, navigate its ideal four. So it gives you a little paragraph here, ideal four. Roth IRA kind of talks a little bit about that, who it's ideal for. Parallel financial, right? Choosing between, right? At Parallel Financial, we understand your, I mean, so even some content in here about us. Again, I know this probably sounds a little salesy, but you can always dial it down. You can copy and paste this. I mean, any output that I get from AI, I usually copy and paste in a document and I'll go in and edit it, okay? It's not, it's not just a, it's done, put it in your thing and you're good to go, okay? All of this stuff needs human revision. All right. That's just a fact, right? The, the AI that we're using today is the least capable AI we will use. It, it's going to get better and better and better, but today still needs a lot of work. All right. So let's, so we got this nice article. We got some stuff here that we can work from. Let's go a step further. I'm going to say, um, you know, this is actually good. I'm, I'm going to send it to my client, but uh, what if, um, you know, maybe I want to put this on LinkedIn. So I'm going to say, create 
three LinkedIn posts from this article. Let's see what happens. All right, boom, there it is. LinkedIn post number one. Okay, let's go back up. There it is. Unlock your retirement strategy. Boom, boom, boom. Plan of retirement. Um, okay, so actually what they're doing is, okay, like you would post this maybe on your website and you could just put the uh, link to that in the, in the post and it would go back, go, go to the, go to this here. You know, one thing I should have done is I could have said, act as a copywriter, final service, parallel financial, instead of writing a one page article, I probably should have said, write a one page email, right? Describing the differences. Um, let's, you know what, for kicks and giggles, let's see here. I'm going to, I'm going to pop this down. Actually, I don't even have to recreate that. I'm going to say, um, uh, write an email to a client of Parallel Financial based on the text above. And I probably don't even have to say that, but let's see what it says. Subject, your client's name, I trust the email finds you well, good and high spirits. Um, you know, okay, so actually in this case, we would take that article, put it on the website or put it in our blog, and then it's just giving me some stuff that we could send to them, make it personalized, insert the article URL. I didn't, I wasn't even thinking that. Actually, this is better than what I was thinking. So score one for AI there. Um, so remember, when you're creating your prompts, right? You got to tell it, it what you want it to be to act as a certain way. So who are who is AI acting as? Are they a marketer, an advertiser? Are they a accountant? Are they an attorney? Uh, what, what, what are they, what they're writing here? Then give them the task, then who is this for? And then there's a, obviously a call to action if you want to create that in there. So hope this helps you in chat GPT. As always, AI Advisor Tools is brought to you by Fiduciary Alliance. Uh, the Alliance helps advisors transition out of the bad situation they're in, maybe if they're at a broker dealer, or maybe they're already independent and just need to scale a little bit better. Uh, Fiduciary Alliance provides them a platform to give them the flexibility, allow them to scale, and most importantly, grow their practice. Uh, so we work with financial advisors. You can find more at fiduciaryalliance.org. Thanks so much for listening today, and we will see you next time.